In this video I'll give you a brief look at calendaring in SharePoint Online. So when we go to a SharePoint team site, the first thing we find is that we don't have a calendar by default. So what we'll need to do is we need to go into the quick launch menu over here on the left. We need to select site contents. Now that will show us all the apps that we have in our current team site. You'll notice that there is not one there um, for a calendar, but it is easy enough to um, add that and we do so with the add an app button. So we simply press that and we'll then be taken to the selection for all the apps that we can upload and install on our site. So if we go through the list here you'll notice that I have some custom ones there as well but down the bottom here I have a app for a calendar. So I'll select that and I just now need to give it a name so I will call it calendar just to make it easy. Once I have given it um, a name all I need to do then is select create. Now what you'll see is that that calendar app will now appear in our list of apps as part of our site. Now we can um, simply select this to navigate to it but you'll also notice here over on the quick launch menu that the calendar shortcut has been added. So if we select that we'll then be taken to our calendar um, in our SharePoint uh, team site. So once we've done that we'll notice that it looks very much like a standard calendar. Now we can manipulate that cal calendar by changing the dates in this, this box or the years in this box up here. We can change the months here as well backwards and forwards but the majority of the work that we need to do with it will be found in the tabs up the top. So if we select events here you'll see that we can add a new event, add a new event, edit an event. But if we go into calendar you'll see that we can now change the view We'll be able to see it by day, by week, and by month. So again, easily to me, but easy to work with when it comes uh, to looking at the different ways the calendar can be displayed for us directly in our uh, web browser. So what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll click on the uh, events tab here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new event. So I'm going to select new event there. It will then pop up a dialogue and ask us to put in the details about uh, our event. You'll see that I can set the start time, the end time and I can put in description. By default I also have the ability to uh, select a category so this has been pre-configured for me. I can elect to make this an all-day activity and also choose whether it is a repeating event. You'll notice here in the menu bar for this item that I can also attach a file if I wish. So when I'm done, I simply select the Save button. You'll see that the event then appears in the calendar in the time period that I have um, selected. Now, what we may find here is that we may want to look at events that are a few months out. We want to see them all in a single view. Now we can do that by using something known as a view in SharePoint. So what we'll do is we'll go to the calendar tab and then you'll see over here under manage views I have the option here, a pull down menu under current view. Now the current view that I have is calendar view which we can see but if I go to all events for example what we'll see is just a generic list of the events that are in a calendar. So this allows us to see basically an agenda of the items that appear uh, in our calendar. So again, simple to work with. Again, an easy way to see different, uh, different views um, of our calendar. You'll see that across the top here, I've got the ability to go back to the calendar. I can look at current events. And if I have additional views, I will have those available here. Now, you can also create your own views and uh, that will be a subject of uh, an upcoming video. So again, if we go back to list, we can easily um, change these. We'll see that our ribbon menu allows us to uh, work with it as it does with most other elements. We can even do things like set an alert. So again, if we just go back to our calendar view, you'll see that we're back to where we started. Now, obviously, we went in and we created an event with the tab. You'll notice that if I hover over a day, I get the add hyperlink. So if I select the add hyperlink, I can then go in and... Um, add another um, event and enter in all the details as we did before. So again we can do that directly from the calendar view. So that's nice and easy to work with. So hopefully this has given you a quick overview of how to work with calendars in SharePoint Online and I thank you very much for watching.